Hey AI art enthusiasts, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be talking about another free AI tool which can create mind-blowing animations and videos for you like these. And you can also go ahead and add life to your images as well with the help of this tool. So yeah, we're talking about Genmo AI, which is a platform for creating and sharing interactive, immersive, generative art. So in this video, we're going to talk about the features of Genmo AI, which are text to video generation and image to video generation. And we're going to talk about this perfect prom formula, all these parameters and settings and everything you need to know in order to get going with Genmo AI. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it and explore this amazing free AI video generator. All right, so first of all, you need to go ahead and go to this website, genmo.ai. So this is basically uh, the interface of Genmo AI, where first of all, it says make videos using AI with Genmo Replay. So introducing Replay, our most powerful video model, yes. So uh, no doubt, as per my testing, this is the amazing AI tool which can create you like mind-blowing AI animations which include text to video and images to video, right? So first of all, right off the bat is saying describe your videos so over here. You need to go ahead and type your prompt for text to video generation, okay? And over here we have settings options, then we have upload image, camera motion effects, so these are a few of the parameters just besides the upload image. So in upload image, you can go ahead and create image to video generation with Genmo AI. So first of all, let's just go ahead and talk about text to image generation. But before that, we need to go ahead and sign up with Google or something. So first of all, I'm just going to go ahead and click on this option login. So this will ask you to sign up for uh, with Google or with Discord. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up with Google real quickly. All right, so I'm all signed up. So this is basically the interface of Genmo AI where it's to describe your videos. So these are a few of the videos that I created uh, as per my testing with Genmo AI. So these look really cool, right? Take a look at this astronaut animation. Like it is very realistic to the point, just the way we want it, right? So just like that, you can create very cool text to video generation with Genmo AI. So before jumping into text to video generation, let's just talk about the PROM formula, which is really important in making text to videos, okay? So what is a PROM formula for creating text to video Genmo AI? So first of all, you need to go ahead and type in your title. The next thing is you need to go ahead and describe your style. Then we have inspiration platform and rendering. So these five things, with that, you can go ahead and create a perfect prompt uh, with Genmo AI and create very cool animations or videos, okay? So yeah, first of all, let's just go ahead and test out these tools. So over here, you can see we have a few options. So first of all, we have settings. So these are the parameters of Genmo AI. So first of all, it says aspect ratio. So you can go ahead and select aspect ratio three by two, four by three, one by one. So, you know, all the way from portrait to landscapes. Then you have duration. So over here, you can select, you want to create two second video, four second video, or a six second video. Okay, so we have a motion button right over here. So higher for more detailed motion, lower for more stable motion. So if you're going to do it and make it lower, so it will create you more stable videos, but the maximum motion will provide you more and more motion in your videos, okay? Then we have the bat. So this will basically tell you how many variations you want to create for each of the videos. So let's just go ahead and do it 2x. So we'll create two variations for each of our prompt. Then we have loops. So you say video won't loops and we have mark. Okay. So these are a few of the parameters for, for creating text to image generation. And over here, we have the option of camera motion. So now you can go ahead and create effects within your videos. So either it will be zoom out uh, or zoom in if you want. Then we have roll. So you, if you want, you can go ahead and rotate your video like counterclockwise or clockwise just the way you want it. Then we have the pan option. So pan camera left to right, then the tilt option. So these are a few more parameters. Uh, then we have effects. So these are the FX uh, presets in which you can go ahead and do the effects in your videos if you want. And then you have this button right over here. So with that, you can go ahead and create random prompts with Genmo AI and test out like how good this looks. So first of all, let's just go ahead and test the random prompt in Genmo AI. So I'm going to go ahead and select um, this one. This one looks good, holographic pirate navigating AR treasure map. Let's just submit it and see the output, like how good the random prompt is going to look in Genmo AI, okay? All right, so take a look at these animations of a holographic pirate navigating AR treasure map. So take a look at this. Wow, this video looks absolutely perfect, right? 
And just like that, if you go ahead and take a look at our first video, so this one does not look that good if you can see the face isn't clear, but the second one, wow, this video is absolutely perfect. Like, like check out the details, check out the animation, each and everything with the point, right? So with that, you can go ahead and download this right away and use it for your social media posts or anything you like, all right? So now let's just go ahead and test out some of the creations with Genmo AI. So we'll be creating like uh, human-centric portraits. We'll be doing superhero prompts, cartoon prompts, or uh, testing. So first of all, let's just go ahead and create some human-centric prompts. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type in my prompt, keeping in mind our prompt formula. So I said, create a 3D animation of a human explorer discovering an ancient civilization inspired by Indiana Jones using Blender and Octane Render, okay? And for the setting, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same that I said earlier. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and submit it and see how good the output is gonna look, all right? Okay, and just like that, our videos are ready. So let's take a look at the first one, first of all. Okay, wow, so this animation of a human explorer, 3D animation actually looks absolutely perfect, right? And if you take a look at our second video, so this one looks as good as we want it, right? So like take a look at these animations, the detail, each and everything, the effects, everything is to the point, right? So we can go ahead and simply download it uh, in our library in order to use it for further purposes, okay? So let's just take one more example I'll be providing in my prom that design a digital painting of a human musician performing in a jazz club in a style reminiscent of Pixar Soul using Procreate and Photoshop. So as you guys can see right over here, we have everything that we want in our prompt formula, which is title, style, inspiration, platform, and rendering. Like, so let's just go ahead and submit it and see the output, like how good it's gonna look. All right, and just like that, our videos are generated once again. So take a look at the results. So first of all, we have a digital painting of a human musician performing in a jazz club. So that looks really good. Uh, we can go ahead and download this as well. And for the second result, this is another variation of the prompt. I mean, this looks really, really good as well, right? So yeah, you can go ahead and create human-centric um, animations out of general AI, like without any problem with the breeze, right? Okay, uh, so for the second example, let's just go ahead and test out some superhero animations and see how they're gonna look like. So first of all, I'm just gonna go ahead and type in my prompt that Design a 3D animation of a superhero with the ability to manipulate time, inspired by Dr. Strange using Maya and V-Ray, okay? Let's just uh, submit this and see the results for our, this prompt now. All right, so our results are generated once again for a superhero with the ability to manipulate time. And if you take a look at the results, so yeah, this looks really, really good. I'm very much confident to download this right away, right? So yeah, uh, just like that, you can go ahead and create superheroes out of general AI without any problem as well too, okay? So for the last example, let's just go ahead and create some cartoon characters and see how general AI is gonna perform in that, okay? So uh, for the first example, uh, I'm gonna be saying, animate a cartoon featuring a group of Misfit Toys on an adventure inspired by Toy Story using Tune, Boom Harmony, and Render Man. Okay, let's just submit this and see the output, like how good it's gonna perform in that now. All right, so the results are ready uh, for the cartoon character featuring a group of Misfit Toys. So take a look at the results. Wow, these are absolutely perfect, right? So you have a general AI, you should not hesitate anymore to create cartoon characters as well, okay? All right, so these were the examples of creating text to video generation with Genmo AI. So now we're gonna talk about how to create image to video generation with the help of Genmo AI. So this tool is really, really good as well. So for that, uh, straight away, you can see we have the option of upload image. So you're gonna go ahead and click on that. And this will basically allows you uh, to just upload any image you like and animate that just according to your preference. Okay, so let's just say I go ahead and upload this image that I created with AI earlier. So this is basically the image of a woman standing on the beast. It's a very cool AI generated image. So now we're gonna go ahead and animate this with the help of Genmo AI. So for that, uh, it basically went ahead and wrote the prompt itself. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like that. And now with the help of few parameters and few camera motion settings, we're gonna go ahead and animate it with just few settings, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and on the aspect, we're just gonna go ahead and select as auto as per our image. So the duration will be four second and the preserve. So the preserve parameter means like how much uh, of the image detail you wanna preserve in the video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like 70% because that looks fine. 
And in the motion, I'm just going to go ahead and do a 67 person. And the badge, I want that in one variation. And let's just go ahead and select the camera motion. So the camera motion, I want the zoom in effect, let's just say that. And the roll is going to be auto, okay? So let's just go ahead and submit this and check out the result, like how it's going to go ahead and animate our this image, okay? All right, so check out the result. Like this video doesn't look that bad. So we have the animating holding guitar on a beach and each and every detail, everything looks really good. We have the animations in the ocean and we have a zoom in effect in the picture. The sun is shining, the hairs are flowing, like each and everything is to the point, right? So now let's just go ahead and take one more example, upload another image of some landscape now and see how is going to animate that. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this image of a lakeside in which we have guitar, few of the uh, good scenery and everything. And we're going to see now how the general AI is going to animate this. So I'm just going to go ahead and set up my parameters. We have, we will preserve uh, the video detail uh, like up to 90% because we want to preserve the image and the motion is going to be 50. Let's just do 50 person. Okay. And everything's going to be the same. And now let's just go ahead and submit this and see the output, like how good it's going to uh, do on the landscapes now, okay? All right, so our result is ready. And if I can go ahead, just maximize it. So you guys can see, like, you know, uh, the animations are very subtle. Like each and everything is very low because we went ahead and did motion to the minimum. And rest of it, the animation look good. Like we can see the animation in the river. And we can also see like the candles are burning and each and every detail is to the point and it preserves uh, the detail of the image as per one. So yeah, this is how you can go ahead and do image to video generation. Like you can add animations to your images uh, with the help of prompt and with the help of few parameters with Genmo AI like without any problem. So yeah, there you go, guys. This was the exploration of Genmo AI. We talked about text to video generation. It's pro formula, a few of the parameters, and we also talked about image to video generation and how you can simply nail that with the help of Genmo AI. So yeah, I hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.